Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, often tasting rare and exotic whiskies. Today I have the second video from Signatory Vintage, small batch edition number one. I did number two first, the more of the um, Glenrothes, and now I'm going to compare it to the Mortlach Vintage 2012, 11 years of age, 48.2%. This is whiskey base number 237382. All right, this is according to the label here Oloroso Sherry and Bourbon Casks from Pity Lucky to the World, and it's unchill filtered and um, no added color. 69 euros 90 the original price and i'm talking about days before was the recommended retail price is 74 74 um, euros 90 so 75 euros at the moment it's going for 70 euros um what i'm not 100 percent sure about the glen rothis is 12 years of age same cast composition same abv and it's 10 euros cheaper so this was set up at 65, this was 75, this goes for um, 70, this goes for 60, basically. All right, so um, my question for me, not for you, but maybe you know this better than I do, um, Addington Group. So we have McAllen, we have Highland Park, and we have here Glen Rothes. Do they sell their casks cheaper than Diageo, for example, Mortlach? Um, it's one year younger, and yet it's 10 euros um, more expensive. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to compare the two of these. This is number two. This is number one. I'm doing it, as I said, in the wrong order, but I wanted to compare this to Buna 12. Buna 12 won, by the way. So um, you can go out and buy a 45 euro Buna 12, and it will beat these, both of these. All right? In my personal opinion, sorry. Mortlach is not a um, bottling I get very often. I do not like the 12. The 14 was nice. The 16 was good. And I think there's a 20 that I've never had. And there's a 30 I've never seen. <laughs> um, I do see a special release from Mortlach every once in a while from the Diageo. Um, and every once in a while, independently bottled whiskey. Mortlach and Sherry, nah, I'm not sure. And on the nose, I get more of a mineral type of chalky moment. I get a little bit of tobacco leaves with a earthiness, dried tobacco. Okay, no sulfur. Nice. Over here. The Glenrothes. Much more of the earthiness, much more of the cherry, much more of the, the, the leaves that are decomposing in your compost pile, and a tiny, tiny little bit of sulfur. Good. I'm not sure if the sherry goes well together with the Mortlach. Cheers. Mm. Both of these have more heat than I think they need. Um, with the 48.2%. Um, I can take the 12-year Buna, compare it, no heat, no alcohol heat. This has heat. Um, take the Glen Alachie 15, no heat. Um, this has heat, both of these do. Uh, which means for me, the bourbon casks were probably not first fill bourbon casks, were a little bit more inactive casks, but there's more of that alcohol bite still there. The mineral chalkiness remains for me. Um, there is a little bit, I'm going to even go to a discussion, a dispute, even an argument between the, the cask and the spirit. They're not <clears throat> harmonizing perfectly. The way to get around it is to add a little bit of water. Bring it down to 45%. Try it again. Mm-hmm. And suddenly they're good friends. Not best friends, but good friends. Um, that sherry, that plum, that tobacco leaf, dried tobacco leaf uh, moment, all that's in here is very good. 
Mortlock is 2.81 um, times distilled. Google it. Watch a video about it. Um, I'm not going to explain it here. <laughs> um, it's a C. With water, it might scratch on the C+, plus, but not really. Value for money, 10 euros more than this. We're talking 75 euros for this Mortlach. It is 11 years of age. It is 48.2%. It is in Aldo Rosso and um, bourbon casks, ex-bourbon casks. C minus. This is something you buy because you want to buy it, not because you need it. Now, some of you might really love Mortlach with a sherry cask finish for an acceptable price. Might be exactly what you're looking for. Me, personally, I would tend to go for the Glen Rothes. If you put water in it, it does not do it justice, so keep it at the 48.2%. And the thing that really surprised me the most was the viscosity of these two, the, the, the mouthfeel. This has syrupy moments, this has weaker, thinner moments. Thin, thick. They're both 48.2%. This is 12, this is 11. They both use very similar cast compositions and so on. And yet the Glenrothes has the better spirit, in my opinion. Maybe it has to do with the 2.81%. That due to that, there's less fatty acids in here. Um, congingers, esters, whatever. But um, this is the better whiskey at this moment. Now, I take up points for having a little bit of sulfur, and when I add water, it has a lot more sulfur, and that's not really what I want. Even now, at this moment, it's despite its thickness, despite its wonderful, unchilled filteredness, there's a little bit of that sulfur moment going on, and that really, really saddens my heart. This could be a great whiskey. It's a good whiskey. This is a good whiskey that might have been great if there had been something else, maybe just a bourbon cask maturation instead of putting that sherry, painting it over with that sherry moment. And the uami, unami here, the, 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 the nice, um, almost like a type of fun, uh, marshmallow, marshmallow, mushroom type of um, moment going on here. It's like basement funk. Very, very nice. I like I'm not doing justice with my words, sorry. So this is a C plus, this is a C. Value for money, 60 euros, C to C minus, 75 euros originally, now 70. Uh, it's a C minus, definitely, for the, for the value for money, in my opinion. I would go here, and if I were really, really, really true, if I'm gonna go buy something and I only have a limited budget, buy the Buddha 12, it's better. All right, so um, that's my opinion. So, question of the day, what is your favorite Mortlach bottling? Is it this, is it the 12, is it the 14, is it 16, is it the 20, is it the 30, is it independent bottled, is it a special release from Diageo? What is your favorite Mortlach? Please write it down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, subscribing, and um, sharing. This might just be a European exclusive. I've only seen them in the shops in UK and in Germany at the moment. Let's see what Signatory Da Vintage does for the rest of the world. I have no idea how big the small batch small is. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.